Hello, hello, hello. It's me again, Real Talk with Amira. Still trying to make sure I don't have to give away $100. I challenge myself to do my podcast for five days, Monday through Friday. And this is the fourth day. Uh oh, one more day. It's getting later and later, though. So today I am going to be talking about motivating yourself again, trying to do some of the things that you need to do. How do I motivate myself? I definitely go listen to inspiring and motivational people, motivational speakers. Um, I read motivational books, articles. And like I said before, it is some amazing people out here. They are killing it. A lot of African Americans, a lot of a lot of um, other cultures too, but it's a lot of African Americans out here killing it. I'm African American, so okay. And you know, a lot of these people have they all tell their and tell their story and share their story about you know how they wanted something different you know, or how they hit rock bottom. A lot of them hit rock bottom and they said, or seen someone that was doing something else. So they decided to try to do that. And I I know it's a lot of people out there like that. You just want something different. I see so many people at my job and they, they want to retire from it. I don't want to retire from it. Um, And they look, like they're just in a in a program a lot of them are unhealthy unhappy just just existing I don't want to do that no I don't want to do that and you know like I said before in order to get something different you're gonna have to do something different a lot of the people that I watch or or listen to They really didn't know what they were going to do. Some of them had no idea. They just started doing something, heard something, heard somebody that inspired them to try something different. And they had to work through it. Most of them had to work through it. It just didn't pop off the next day. (laughs) Like, you know, like hot sauce. It, it, It took a minute, but they didn't give up. And that's the key. Don't give up. If you want to do something different, it's going to take time. It's probably going to take some type of money investment. You're going to have to you're going to have to spend something. You know, a lot of things are low cost, but I don't think there's anything that's no cost. And mentorship. Find somebody that is also unhappy in their position. Split the cost. Two ways, three ways, four ways, however you got to do it to get that information. Because that is the key, getting the correct information, the correct system. And it's all out there. I've seen so many people that are making millions, hundreds of thousands, 200,000 a month, 800,000 in a year. It's crazy. And, And they're no different than me. We all the same. We all have we all have the same potential. It's just you taking the time and the effort to do something different. You know, and that's another thing. We don't have people in our lives to really support us. You know, you tell somebody you want to start a new business. They looking at you crazy. You ain't going to do it. You're, that, thanks for throwing that negative energy on me. How about you say, okay, what you need from me? We don't do that. I see I see so many people online that are trying to do business, trying to do something different. No support. No support. But they have friends and family. You know, we'll like a post, but we won't share it. I, I still don't understand that shit. <laughs> you gonna like a post about somebody's business or what they're trying to do and you don't share it? You have 5,000 friends. They got 5,000 friends. That's 10,000 people. Of course, it doesn't go out to everybody, but why would you like something and not share it? 
to your audience or, or to your people. I don't understand that. I'll, I'm never going to understand that because if somebody's trying to be in business, you want to put that out there. There may be somebody in my line that would be interested that can help them. So what does that mean? That, that To me, that means we don't want to help each other. And guess what? When you don't want to help or you don't want to give to people, that comes back to you. That's all I'm going to say about that. I don't understand it. Tips to start managing your budget. Um, get your things in order. You got to have some type of order. Some type of order in your life. A lot of people I see, they talk about doing stuff, but you don't have any order. I'm not perfect. I don't have everything lined up either, but I do have some type of order. Using your tools. Social media is a great tool. If you are a, a person that people like and interact with, you know, say you post something, you get 300 likes, 300 comments, and you're struggling to make money, your money is right there. It's in your influence. I see that too. And then I see people, oh, I had to go find another job, but 300 people liked your post. Oh, I'm struggling to do this, but 500 people made a comment. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to re revamp that because that's your influence. You can possibly create those people or create a product that you can sell to those people. You have influence, use it. And stop talking about what you're going to do. Start now. Stop talking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to try that. I'm going to do it. Do it now. Stop waiting. I know a few people that will be great at a lot of things, but they're not doing them. And I know it's fear or fear of the unknown, that terror barrier. Just do it. You will be great and wonderful. <laughs> perfect yeah you might have to do some other stuff and line some other stuff up but you'd be great at what you want to do start taking responsibility for yourself 100 i, I was reading a book it said take 100 percent accountability for your life it ain't about nobody else <laughs> my, my kids have kind of been in a little arguing stage the last week or so and I, you know, one picks at the other, one picks at the other. And if your life is where you want it to be and what you're doing, you don't have to worry about anybody's life. You have nothing to say about what they doing. I need to think about that too, because I done had some comments about some people and why? <laughs> if I'm happy and I'm doing what I'm doing, I could care less about what you're doing. So I, I need to mark, write that down. <laughs> but definitely, to become who you want to be, you're going to have to do something different. And I'm, I'm going to stick on that. You know, a, a lot of us could have a lot of impacts and change a lot of people's lives for real. Real talk. We we have that in us, that energy, that that projection that we could do out, but we're not doing nothing with it. So you do have everything that you need. You have everything you need to do what you want, you know, as far as the things that are inside of you. You have to use that, um, promote it, market it. Definitely find your audience, find the people that will support you because everybody's not going to support you. Like I said, we, we have 5,000 friends and nobody's supporting you. Nobody's um, liking your post. Nobody's sharing your post. You can like some, but how about you share? It? How about you tell somebody about it? Hey, this person does this. Hey, this person is selling this. And that's that, that's common sense to me I, I don't think it's common sense to everybody but it's common sense to me 
that if somebody somebody let's let's say one of my friends sells uh dinners a couple people sell dinners i've shared it they don't have to ask me to share it i'm sharing it because i know they're in business i know they're selling something i know they want people to buy it that's common sense so that's me everybody evidently don't have a common sense but that's okay somebody's selling clothes somebody's selling shoes somebody's selling a car the more people they reach, the more opportunities they have to sell it. So why wouldn't I share it? Somebody has a business. That just makes sense to me. And I, I don't understand the people that just like stuff and don't share it. Or the people that are selling something and you can't share it. <laughs> that That's probably even worse. You know, you're, you're closing yourself off to potential buyers. If I have something to sell, I want everybody in America to have access to that information. Everybody, millions, thousands, whatever. Why would I want to hide it? Okay. That... So definitely think that we need to be more open, more giving, more sharing. And, and the main thing is just to start doing something different. If you're not going to do nothing different, don't ask for nothing different. You know, if you want to be wealthy, you're going to have to change the way you think. Because evidently how you're thinking is not wealthy. Because you're not wealthy. <laughs> you want to solve problems. Um, if you want to sell something, you want to solve a problem. You want to offer something that somebody wants something that somebody needs you're going to have to be solving a problem when you sell something so I don't know how long I've been doing uh, talking today but I did it again I don't have to give away $100 today I am going to do something special for those people that commented in the comments their cash app and I thank everyone for listening to me again, for those that did. And everyone have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. So I do not have to fulfill my giveaway. <laughs>